Now, your news on the go. Welcome back. The state DOT is ramping up for another ramp closure on I-81 this morning. Starting at 9, the ramp from 481 South to 81 South in Syracuse will close. A detour will take you to exit 17 at South Salina Street and Brighton Ave. Then follow the signs to East Calthrop Avenue, eventually getting to the entrance ramp to I-81 southbound. From ramps to railroads, beginning today, a rough railroad crossing in DeWitt is being torn out. To remove the tracks, the state DOT is closing 290, also known as Manlius Center Road, right at the crossing. The road will be closed to through traffic. The DOT says you'll still be able to drive in this red area as long as you don't need to cross the tracks. The official detour is highlighted in green. It includes taking Erie Boulevard and East Genesee Street to get you around. And the construction doesn't stop there. If you live near Kirk Park or in the Strathmore and Salt Spring neighborhoods, make room and move over for construction crews. Starting today, milling and paving projects will begin in those areas. Roads will stay open, but expect delays. Work is expected to take about a week. From paving to the polls, voters in Manly is saying no to a new ward system. Nearly 3,000 people turning out to vote, and over 2,000 voters said no. Just under 900 voting yes to a ward system. But the big story wasn't the vote itself. Voters waited more than two hours to cast a ballot. The town supervisor says lines won't be a problem come election day in November. From the polls to Pulaski, a boil water advisory has been lifted in the village. This means water is now safe to drink and use for cooking. The Oswego County Health Department had to sample water after a water main break last week. Well, starting today, you can order new at-home COVID tests online. This comes as cases of the virus are starting to tick back up. Free of charge, you can order the test at covidtest.gov. The test will be delivered also for free by the United States Postal Service. You can order up to four free tests for each household. A 25-year-old man is recovering after being shot in both legs. He thought he heard fireworks outside, but instead he was being shot at. The man walking into Upstate Hospital around 3 Sunday morning, according to Syracuse police. They say the shooting happened in the 100 block of West Fayette Street. An investigation ongoing this morning. And we're keeping you on the lookout this morning after a woman was stabbed multiple times on the city's near east side. The call going out right around 3.30 yesterday afternoon in the 2000th block of East Fayette Street by Parkside Commons. Syracuse police say a 27-year-old woman was stabbed several times in her stomach. As of this morning, she is listed as stable. Tonight's Powerball drawing now topping $785 million. If you are lucky enough to win the latest grand prize, you could take home around $367 million in cash. Of course, that's before taxes, but still a giant chunk of change. This jackpot marks the fourth largest in Powerball history. And the Orange are lacing up for their first official practice of the season. Today also marks the first regular practice with coach Adrian Autry at the helm. Syracuse fans can get a sneak peek of the team next month. That's when Syracuse hosts their annual Orange Madness.